My name is Jonathan Jaget. I'm a data engineering manager at Hotel Tonight. Um, we've been a, a client of Snowflakes for a little over a year now. It's really amazing to see the product grow and the people in this room uh, keep growing every year. At Hotel Tonight, uh, our mission is to change the way that people travel. Um, we want to make a very spontaneous and exhilarating experience um, for, our, for our customers. We want them to come in and uh, change the way that they travel, look for last minute deals, find out that if they wait till the last minute, they can find better deals, better hotels to stay at, and have a much better experience. Two of our core values are build and question. That's kind of driven the way that we've uh, interacted with our, with our customers and helped us to push the envelope in, in, our, in our product and in our technology that we provide. Um, and I think that that's kind of evident in the reasons that we chose Snowflake uh, from day one. Um, our industry is a very large industry, but it's dominated by two huge players, Expedia and Priceline Group. I think last year Priceline spent $3.5 billion just in SEM advertising online, so that's kind of gives you a little perspective of what we're going up against. Um, the way that we've kind of made our way into the industry is by establishing a niche, uh, last minute, mobile first, um, and uh, you know, providing amazing experiences for everybody using our app, our customers and our hotel partners. Um, we've changed the way that people travel and the way that people book, but our plans are bigger than that. And it's going to take uh, doubling down on data to be able to get us to the next steps in our company's growth. So we've been around for six years now, but it's only in the last year that we've really dedicated resources to uh, improving our company's data usage and consumption and how we build data products on top of this. Um, and so a year ago, we were reestablishing you know, our data structure and what we were looking for. And we decided that we needed to you know, find somebody that was going to scale along with us, somebody that could handle um, the company growing, the number of customers and hotel partners growing, um, and the number of days that we were serving uh, when we moved from one night to seven night booking window. Um, so our company does put a lot of demand on data. And uh, the solution that we find needed to be highly available. Um, we needed to be able to support semi-structured data so that we could do quick analysis on the type of data and events that we were uh, generating, and of course we need to have a great way to uh, recover from any sort of problems that may arise along the way. So a little bit about how HT uses data. Um, the first thing that we had to really solve if we were going to really double down on data and make the type of decisions company-wide that we needed to was to find the biggest pain points in the company and solve those. And so our first few projects have been around um, bringing in financial data and assuring that uh, everybody is you know, reporting on data in the same way, um, supporting the various functions that finance has from close of month to transaction reconciliation, audit support, and also looking at how we spend money in marketing, um, not only from doing the analysis of uh, which channels get attribution for our marketing spend, but also how we measure the impact that uh, these payments and these uh, touches that we have on customers have had. Um, so those were really what we call the table stakes. Like we had to get that right first before we could really venture out into uh, more exciting pieces. Um, but th what some of these other more exciting features are that are all data driven, or I think the most important one for our company is search. It's the, uh, the first place that a user really interacts with our app. Uh, when you download the app, it's going to land you right on this page. You're going to see what's available in your market. Um, the way that we kind of measure this is to look at what type of hotels are showing up in our results. Uh, what is the performance of those hotels when they do show up? Uh, how good is the discount that they're giving us? And then we take that, do some aggregation on it, and feed it back into our algo uh, for it to use in future waiting so it knows which hotels to show um, for the next users that come along. And then we're also rolling out some features now where we're looking at the types of users that are using our app, trying to get some personalization personas in place and tailor the results of the, uh, app, uh, the search request to your preferences and what you're looking for to try to find that hotel, the one that you want to stay at tonight, and give that to you at the best price possible. Another really important part of our business is email targeting. Uh, we do a lot of analysis here to look at what type of user you are, what type of hotels you've been looking at and you've been interested in, in the past, and find ways to surface those to you in your inbox um, you know, try to spur some uh, re-engagement with the platform. And, and uh, a, a fun recent thing that we've added to these is actually showing live rates for hotels um, in these emails. And we've done that through some pretty innovative engineering uh, services built uh, to surface these prices to their email system. 
Another way that we engage with our, our marketplace really is by uh, talking to our hotel partners. So recently we had a project where we um, tried to predict demand in, in our more active markets based upon the number of users searching and how often they're uh, converting and then take that information and pass it back to our hotels to try to give them a little bit more tangible reasons to uh, add discounts or give us a better price than our competition was getting. Um, and so we've seen some really great uh, engagement as we look to increase uh, hotel partners giving us the best possible prices. Uh, for our own internal uses, uh, we have market managers, basically our sales team, the ones responsible for interacting with our hotel partners. Um, so we built a tool here which allows them to know who to contact, what to ask for, what's really important in your market, and what your, what your market is suffering from. This type of analysis was never possible before, um, but it's, you know, now that we have uh, a solid architecture, a solid infrastructure to build upon, we're able to get some amazing insights and judge all of these different markets uh, on the same page uh, so that we can, you know, judge them all against each other. Uh, and the list goes on, you know, like we, we do lots of uh, different analysis, of course we're doing lots of product analysis to see what's working and what's not working, trying to find out what types of users are using our app and how they're performing in there, when we're having, you know, poor supply versus strong supply and how that impacts our conversion rates, um, all the way down to modeling and forecasting the future of the business. And the way that we're able to accomplish that is because of a lot of the tools and features that Snowflake gives us. Uh, so as my data engineering team uh, put together this list of uh, how Snowflake really helps our lives uh, and keep it, keep it sane. Um, so we have an ETL system uh, based upon Aluma, Spark, Airflow, and Python. Um, and it all just kind of connects and integrates seamlessly with Snowflake uh, in, in a way that allows Snowflake to be the single source of truth for our company to consume. Scaling horizontally and vertically, up and down, at a, at a whim, at, at the needs of the company, I, trying to identify that as it's happening in real time and make those adjustments to the warehouse uh, has really paid off and has allows our, our employees to spend a lot more time building reports and, and digging into the data and less time sitting around waiting for the results to come back. Uh, JSON querying has really opened up our uh, abilities to do some deep analysis on some unstructured data or semi-structured data. Um, our apps are generating events uh, at, a, at an amazing pace and so finding the, the little nuggets of truth in there is really helpful for our team. S3 loading, of course, uh, really helps our integrations with third-party services. And uh, something I didn't list here but uh, saved us this week is the time travel feature, which um, allows you to go back in time to where a table was before in case something may have been messed up <laughs> along the way before then. Uh, of course, we're always looking at cost control. Um, Snowflake gives us a lot of insights into how our, our how many warehouses we have running, what size they are, and the credits that they're using. We'll have monthly meetings to go over our usage and talk about ways that we can drop that down. And some of the recent features that have really helped there are the multi-cluster warehouses and the sub-hour billing um, for queries. These allow us to kind of tailor the warehouse uh, structure um, to the types of queries that are happening. So if you have a lot of ad hoc queries and looker running, you can probably service that with an extra small or a small warehouse, maybe multiple of them. But if you have large ad hoc queries running, you wanna give it more horsepower to be able to get through it quickly. And of course, compliance, a lot of the reasons that Bob just mentioned about user access and, and uh, you know, obfuscating data um, makes it super easy with Snowflake. So with that, Snowflake is really providing us with a platform to be able to help our users to find the hotel of their dreams and to change the way that the travel industry works. So thank you.